Hello, my name is Liam Morley. Um, I've been a member of St. James my entire life. Um, I grew up knowing about the relationship that we had with our friends in Haiti, and it culminated in my trip to Haiti in 2018 that I took with our group. I got to visit Biganay, Jacques Mel, and Port-au-Prince, as well as some places in between. Um, and I love and cherish so many memories that I have going from going there. And also from growing up with the relationship, um, seeing the art sales, seeing meeting the people who come to, to us. Um, growing up with the relationship, my attention was on it in particular because my grandma, Ruth Ann Olson, had dedicated so much of her time and energy to sustaining the relationship, welcoming the people and interacting with them. Um, I knew she had gone to Haiti multiple times with my grandfather. Uh, she brought me back art and I admired those who went because it seemed they did so with kindness and respect and they really learned a lot. Um, I felt even then that just to hear my grandma talk about it was not quite enough. Um, that was really important was interacting with the people, whether they came to us or we went to them. Um, really facilitating conversations, exchanging stories and learning from each other, um, building that relationship instead of having it just being one-sided, um, us helping them. Um, going to Haiti then was really, really significant for me. It was the first time I'd ever traveled outside of the United States at all. Um, and I'm really happy that that was the first place I went because I think it's different than like a trip to Europe would have been. Um, I saw a lot and like I said, I had so much fun. I cherish a lot of the memories I have. Um, I just want to tell you some of the most important things that I feel I've learned. Um, the most important things I took away from Haiti and our relationship with Bigonet and Bonneville are these. For the first time, I understood what it meant to be really noticed uh, for your skin color. Um, and I will never forget that feeling. Um, Obviously, I've grown up here in Minnesota, um, and we are, have people of color for sure, and I've grown up around them, but definitely there's a large percentage of the population which is white, and a lot of the neighborhoods that I grew up in, the people that I interacted with were white. Um, and so to go to Haiti, where it's predominantly people of color, and really the only white people that I saw were the ones who already came, in with, came with me, um, was really significant because I felt noticed and noticed in my skin color for the first time. Um, this feeling is absolutely significant to me and I will take it with me. I'm glad that I experienced that and I am so fortunate to have gone to see that. Um, I bring that feeling back with me and to back to my relationships with people of color here um, and it has definitely influenced my engagement in social activism, especially regarding race. Um, the second takeaway, important takeaway from Haiti is, <laughs> it may seem a little obvious, but um, we are all people. <laughs> That's kind of it. <laughs> we are all people and we all have the same capability for love and happiness and kindness and joys and sorrows. No matter where we are, where we grew up, who we are, where we come from, it really is, we are all people. Um, coming together with people who are different than you, you actually end up finding more similarities than you would have expected. And that was really one of the greatest joys of going to Haiti for me. Um, I cannot overstate how wonderfully kind and welcoming our Haitian friends were to me and our group. And I can only hope that they felt as welcomed by us when they came here. I am grateful to the partnership for giving me the opportunity to be exposed to and learn things that I may never have otherwise. Thank you. Yeah.